Targeted dry cow therapy means only the cows likely to have an intramammary infection at drying off are treated with an antibiotic dry cow therapy. The remaining cows are typically given a non-antibiotic internal teat sealant like teat seal. To apply targeted dry cow therapy, you need to work out which cows should be given an antibiotic dry cow therapy. The best way to do this is to look at your mastitis data at a milk quality review with your vet. Your vet will look at your herd's mastitis pattern overall and decide if targeted antibiotic dry cow therapy would be appropriate. Then they work out what each individual cow should get based on the herd's profile and the cow's mastitis history. Essentially, vets ask two questions of each cow. One, does this cow require an antibiotic dry cow therapy? And two, would this cow benefit from an internal teat sealant? The standard way to answer question one is to identify cows that exceeded a somatic cell count threshold at any of at least three herd tests for the season. However, while we recommend farmers herd test routinely for other reasons, new research found that a single herd test done within 80 days of drying off, or a rapid mastitis test done around the time of drying off, were as accurate as three or more herd tests. So you can still apply a targeted antibiotic dry cow therapy even if you don't have three or more herd tests, provided your herd's mastitis profile at drying off is suitable. Question two is answered by thinking about your mastitis pattern, particularly around calving.